All right, so the third bonus mission in uh, the game is at Cybermyth Studios, and this time we are going in as Gast, who is the like the writer, the author of the uh, the zine that we've been using to learn about all the hacking stuff. Uh, so what's happened here is a company that both Gast and Moss worked at, Cybermyth Studios, owes the two of them some back pay, and uh, it has not been forthcoming with the money so we're gonna hack in and pay ourselves the money to a shell company so the first thing that we have to do is take a look at file 300 that has our names for ghast moss and trash world cleaning which is our shell company we're gonna pay the money out to uh the two uh ports here i guess hosts here of interest are payable which is where they say how much money they've paid out and payroll which is where they say how much money they owe specific people. So these are the two hosts that we're going to be going into to get most of our information from. We're also going to hop into the clock at one point, but that's near the end. So the first thing that's going to happen is XB is going to head over into the like the staging platform here. And he's going to be in charge of calculating the total amount of money that's going to be owed to the shell company. So he's going to jump over there, make a file and and instantiate it with zero dollars and zero cents in it. And it's going to listen and take in the totals that XA is going to be calculating. So that's what XB does. XA is going to grab file 300 and then it's going to jump over here and is going to copy Gast's name in and create an agent that's going to go into payroll and an agent that's going to go into payable to start reading. What these things have to do is starting with the name Gast, or Moss, depending on what stage we're in. Sorry, where is it? Uh, this one. Sorry, lots of scrolling. Uh, you'll see that there's an ID and then a name. We have to find the ID that cor correlates to Gast. And the ID will, he has an ID for payroll that's in the 3000s, and then he has an ID in payable that's in the 2000s. So we both of them have to find the ID for the corresponding host that they're in. So they'll both grab on to this personnel file, which is the 220 or 230, depending on which one you're in. And they will go through until they find Gast's name. So we'll let them go until they find it. And then when they do, he has found it. He's going to save his ID into the X register here. So Gast is 3004 in payroll. What he's then going to do is pick up file 231. And file 231 is structured that it has the ID of the person that the money is owed to, the date of the uh, transaction, and then, or the date of when it's owed, I guess, and then dollars and cents. And each row is constructed just like that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a bot. And the bot here is going to basically read in values that are found by XA0. So. He, let's see, where is he in the actual code? Okay, he's right down here. Uh, he's going to listen, so I'm getting ahead of myself. First, XA0, who is reading the payroll, is going to go through and find anything that, any lines that have 3004 in it, which it looks like the fifth line here does. So once we find that 3004, we're like, okay, this is money that's owed to Gast. I'm going to just send over the dollars to my writer and the sense over to the writer. God, both of the cats are here bothering me. Hello, Theo. Uh, and uh, the agent is going to keep doing that. So here's another one that's going to be owed to gas, another 961 that's going to be owed to gas. And this will continue. You'll notice that the ones in payable finished. That's because payable tends to be shorter than payroll, but we'll just keep, they're doing the same thing. So we don't need to watch them both. So you'll see that uh, we got our last one being sent over. That's all of the money that is owed to gas now. You'll see here that this guy has calculated the total number of dollars that are owed to gas and the total number of cents. You'll see that the total number of cents may be more than 100. We'll, we'll do that rounding at the end. There's no reason to do it in every step. Uh, once we have that information, XA0 is going to signal I'm done reading my file. Uh, and then it's going to terminate itself. And the guy who's holding on to the total is going to jump over here and is going to inform XB and say, OK, here's the amount of money that was owed that was owed to Gast. Uh, and what we do is we actually negate these amounts 
or no, no, no. These, the ones in payroll are the money that's owed, so that's positive. The money that came from payable, I negated. So you see that the money that was returned from the two agents in here in and communicated to XV are negative because that's the money that they were actually paid. They don't want to just steal money. They want to get the money they were owed. So I, the money from payable, I, I multiplied by minus one to make it minus because that's the money they were actually already paid. Now he's going to send in the money that they were owed, and that's going to be added to those two totals. And you'll see now that means that gas was owed a total of one thousand one hundred forty nine dollars and then two hundred and sixty cents. And then XA zero zero is going to alert XA saying I'm done calculating. And XA has been listening until it got two signals, one from payable and one from payroll, because once we're done with that, then we have to basically repeat the entire process this time using Moss, Moss's name instead of Gas's name. So we grab Moss's name and then we come out with some more agents and they're going to do the exact same thing. So I'll just I'll just kind of fast forward this guy. He's going to read through the the file here until he finds Moss's ID, grabs the ID and saves it, grabs the the name for, or the transaction file, creates a writer, and then goes through the transaction file, finding anything for that person and sends that money on over. And so you'll see this guy's going to read through the file. Anything that's 2001, which is Moss's ID, is going to get sent here. And these are negative because this is payable. These are money. This is the money that Moss has actually been paid out. Uh, the guys in payroll are adding money up instead of subtracting it. And then once we are done, we signal and we head back to XB and say, hey, this is the money that Moss was paid. And that's going to get subtracted from the total as well. And then we'll let the guys in payroll finish before we see what happens next. Okay, so they're going to send their amount over and signal. Now then, XA has just killed XB. Uh, that, that is because we are going to be uh, grabbing file 400 ourselves and we're going to uh, be using this to calculate the amounts that, it, that needs to be sent over. Uh, so we create first an agent that's going to go into payable and is going to add an entry into the list of people here that can be paid money and we're going to add the shell company on there so the shell company's name is already saved in the x register that's because xa had grabbed it from file 300 and saved it in the x register before replicating so they're going to head in here and they're going to grab file uh 220 and they're gonna add a new id so they seek to the end pull back 2000 add one and then put that in there i don't want to get too far ahead here because i believe uh xa is currently reading the file that we have and is going to handle the logic for i'm going to minimize this so we can see this a little better uh is going to handle the logic for converting the cents into dollars so it's possible that the amount of total cents that is owed is negative uh in which they paid out more total cents than they did owe. uh if that's the case then what we have to do is we gotta do a little more extra logic uh what we end up doing is subtracting um a hundred from the number which would actually i should find an example i'll find an example of that i'll explain that better so we'll, for right now, we'll just look at the case of where it's positive. We have 512 cents. Uh, we take the first two digits, which for this case is going to be five, and we're going to add that to our total number of dollars. So we're going to add that, turn 1493 into 1498. And then we are going to remove the hundreds placed from the cents. And we've just transferred the, five, the 500 extra cents over into the dollar amount. And XA is, is good. Uh, the last thing that XA is going to do is head over into the clock over here. Uh, and the reason for that is because now that we have created our shell company, Trash World Cleaning, and made it an ID of 2008, we need to make a transaction for the amount that we're owed. And part of that is the date. And if you want to pull the date, I'm covering it with my camera, but in the clock here, there is a date register. So what XA is going to do is it's going to head over into 804 and is going to copy um, copy the date across the network for this guy to put into the transaction. So there's the date that's been written down. And then XA is also going to copy over the, to the final total of dollars and cents 
and then it's going to wipe the file and halt. And there we go. Now, let's see if I can find an example of a case where the scents are negative. That would be here. Let's see. Here we go. So we have a total of minus 60 cents uh, in the uh, in, after we've done all of our tabulating, we've seen that they paid us or that they owe us five thousand dollars, but then they've paid more cents total than actual cents so that we owe 60. So what we'll end up doing, let me minimize this again so we can see it a little clearer, because when these extra missions get long, they, I, I find myself minimizing the code a lot to see what's actually happening. Uh, so we subtract 100 from minus 60 to get uh, minus 160, and then that will uh, translate to now we're going to add a minus dollar instead of adding a positive dollars. We're adding a, a, we're subtracting a dollar from our total, making it 5027, and then we will add a hundred cents because we've taken a dollar away from our cents and or a dollar away from our dollar our dollar amount and so we can add that dollar into our actual cents so we'll add a hundred cents in turn it into 40 and there you go that's how we handle negative cents and then that will continue until we're clear so i'll let that run pay out all the money that's owed to gas and moss and there you have it we got just barely in the in the highest part of the histogram here uh, I definitely I know at the beginning of these I said I wasn't going to go back and like optimize these and I was just going to let them be uh, that was a lie <laughs> uh, especially in these bonus ones I spent a lot of time trying to get these as as high up as I could for the most part so <laughs> you'll see the pain the the pain of my labor here as we go through the rest of these but yeah Gaston Moss have been paid the money that they that they were owed and we've done some good in the world today <laughs>